Thank you for joining us, uh, Vice President. I'll be addressing the Digital Services Act. And since my colleagues have already mentioned the threats to freedom of speech by error-prone censorship machines and the threats to the right to privacy by pervasive tracking, I'll focus on one aspect. Now, um, only last week did we discover that Facebook leaked data on 500 million citizens, including um, personal information such as their birth date and their personal phone numbers. And this personal information can be used for harassing people, for identity theft. And that is precisely why this committee, as well as all two other committees actually, called for the DSA to provide for a right to use digital services anonymously. Precisely because not providing this information in the first place is the only way to um, make sure that it is not lost and stolen afterwards. However, this is missing from the Commission's proposal. Quite to the contrary, the proposal labels the legitimate and uh, important anonymous use or pseudonymous use of Internet services an inauthentic use that and considers it a risk factor, which is not acceptable. So would you support also knowing what has recently happened once again, would you support the legislator in enshrining in the Digital Services Act a provision, a right to use these digital services anonymously wherever the identity is not required to provide the service? On the, on the question of, uh, of anonymity, well, we, we do not touch this question, uh, only in, in one respect, the fact that on the product side of the Digital Services Act, we would put an obligation for the platforms to know their business customer. Uh, and that is in order for, for people actually to be able to know that it's a real business that they're dealing with, so that someone will have, for instance, the importer responsibility. Uh, that is the only uh, way where we sort of uh, address this question. Uh, I think that is really uh, justified because we have had this problem of uh, businesses who, when court, uh, court uh, to, to deliver uh, fake or, or dangerous uh, products, they just closed uh, and then they reappeared uh, shortly after uh, with the same dangerous uh, or, or, or fake products. But that is the only uh, place where we uh, sort of address uh, the question of, uh, of, um, of anonymity. Uh, so basically, uh, we don't suggest any changes uh, to the way things are now. Uh, of course, one can say that we would want to give people the option to identify themselves, uh, also to identify themselves without having to, to uh, lock in via their, their social media uh, accounts by making sure that we all have uh, digital identities that we can use uh, if we find that uh, to be useful. Um, I think that it would be good in, in a number of circumstances that one could say, actually, I know, I know who I'm, I am dealing with. Uh, but that is, of course, a different matter uh, than um, having uh, all your data with a, a social media company, uh, especially if you're not feeling that they are safe with that social media company.